What's up my beautiful homies, it's been a long time no see but I'm excited to be back. I've actually been inspired to make this video by one of my old videos. It's called the Mandela Effect. I'll link it down below. And there was a comment on there about how this person saw over 50 orbs in that video and it kind of made me very very uneasy because two days before that I went to um, two days before filming that video I actually went to a burned down mental asylum and I found this Ouija board over there and of course me being me, I I messed around with it and I did not close the portal <sighs> and uh, it was weird because the next morning when I looked at it there were a bunch of like fruit flies on it so there were a bunch of fruit flies on it the next morning um, which kind of made me very uneasy um, because I don't know why there were fruit flies on it like to this day it's kind of weird and I always felt watched in the house and doors would literally always slam shut and open when I was home alone like I would hear things and I'm not schizophrenic or anything but the reason why I'm making this video today is because of that old video I watched and there were a bunch of orbs in it like I said um uh, I don't know when this all started about two months ago I started feeling this presence in my room that I was always watched like something was always watching me watching over me and at first I thought it's my grandma but come to realize I think this is an evil entity because it's it's messing with my head um it's messing with my physical health too i've always had kidney issues but basically since about january i i've been to the hospital twice you know to the emergency room I'm gonna go see a nephrologist because I can barely walk at this point. Um, basically, bedridden. So, I know I'm not crazy because my boyfriend, he really doesn't believe in these sorts of things. And something really, really, really strange happened to us the other day we were at a gas station and I used to have um, an old teacher and just for privacy issues we'll name him Mr. Walker so in this gas station I went to the bathroom and my boyfriend went to get some drinks and he was at the cash register paying for the drinks when I walked out of the ba uh, bathroom and nobody else was in this gas station but um, for some reason when I walked out I was like oh that's Mr. Walker because he, you know, me and my boyfriend went to the same high school and he was like, what are you talking about? Nobody went into that gas station. It's just, it was just me and you. 
Um, but I was like, no, no, he's in there. Um, and it really did look like him because he had curly brown hair. And everybody wears masks. And he had glasses on. And he looked pretty young. So from the back, it kind of looked like, you know, Mr. Walker. But it wasn't because when he walked out, it was the strangest thing because his eyes were like soulless, like they were black. And my boyfriend felt so uncomfortable, he couldn't even look at him no more. Like, he said he didn't look human, basically. Like, it looked kind of like a demon. Um, now, I didn't realize this, you know, the fact that I knew Mr. Walker was in there, you know. But, I come to think of it, I kept thinking about it for hours and hours and hours, and I was like, how did I know he was in there? Because basically we it's so weird because he was just looking around the entire time, the entire time he was in the gas station because me and my boyfriend were waiting on him to walk out, you know, so we can like yell out his name because he'd he'd remember us, especially my boyfriend. Um but I don't know how I knew that he was in there when nobody even walked in there. So that's not the first weird incident. Then this Asian guy, um, he was at a gas pump but it's so weird because he went in front of the store and uh, he lit up a cigarette um, and the second he took a puff, like he took a puff of the cigarette and he looked possessed. It, it's like he was like, like he was like twitching like crazy. It just looked really, really, really strange and that's the second person that did not stop staring at me like the entire time he stared at me so me and my boyfriend pull around the gas station so we're still in this gas station um, and literally the second we pull away the guy's cigarette was still like he just smoked like a few puffs of it he literally threw it on the ground and went back in his car. So then these two Latino dudes walk in the gas station. And it was, it was just strange because they're about to walk out and the second they hit the door, they stare right at me for a like hot second. And then they keep trying to open it, but they never walked out. And then they went back to the cash register. And the entire time while they were at the cash register, they kept looking back at us like over and over and over again. And again, their eyes looked so soulless, so black, like demonic almost so we saw four people at that gas station that night and they all had the same eyes and those same features almost inhumane if you could say that but I feel very uncomfortable in this room this is my room, um, because I constantly feel like something's looking at me or like watching me, like I feel it, 
um, Arch had burning sage in here, it made it completely worse. Um, I just, uh, at this point, I don't know what to do because I'm um, highly uncomfortable and I guess I kind of asked for this when I was younger because I would always seek out these things, you know. But now that I got it, it's it's not fun anymore. It's really not. So, yeah. I have a bunch of more ghost stories. I hate saying ghost because it's like their energies, you know, their their entities. But I'll tell them to you in like my next few videos because I said this a million times, I'm so sick of myself, I keep saying it, that I'll upload more. But yeah, I think I'm gonna get back into YouTube since everybody is quitting YouTube. I might as well pick it up since I want to do everything backwards. Um, but yeah, it's just very, very uncomfortable to be in here. The, the energy is so heavy. Oh, and I also forgot to mention that night that we came home from the gas station. I was like, ooh. I was laying in bed with my boyfriend and like, the energy just felt so heavy in here, heavier than usual. And the second I think of it, I look up at my light and the lights start flickering. So, I... I don't know what to do anymore. I need tips, I need tricks on how to get rid of this because like I said, um, it's not only messing with my head, it's messing with my body, I feel like. Um, but yeah, please comment down below on what I'm supposed to do. The sage did not work, it only made it worse. Um, but. That's pretty much all I have to say for this video. Uh, kind of nice being in front of the camera again. But I love you beautiful homies. Stay woke.